What's up guys, this is RG, give you another High Definition Broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League, and we are on my character RG, the mage. Just messing around a little bit, doing what I usually do, uh, just kicking it. But I got a couple friends uh, telling me that they want um, certain types of videos. One of my homies that actually just subbed to my channel is uh, goes by the name of Red. And he asked me if I could do a class breakdown kind of video that is showing like the best monsters, gears, and such. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, it was very general, the, the question he asked. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and break it down into different classes and what they actually um, need for each different type of character. And... Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. So let's go ahead and get into uh, the mage breakdown for now since I am a mage class. And I'm going to be able to sh kind of show you what to do on the mage. I also am a bishop so I can do that too. Um, and then I can do rangers and all that stuff as I research it more and get a little bit more knowledgeable on each class. Talk to a few high levels and then I'll give you a good video on those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this mage uh, class now. Um, a lot of the game is really based on what kind of gear you pull from the gear spawns. So, depending on what you're spawning out of these, uh, you know, monster or regal spawns, uh, this one's actually really good for people who don't have a lot of body or head armor. Uh, you can pull like two to three URs out of this um, if you save up, if you're lucky, that is. But uh, I've seen, like, one of my friends said he pulled like four UR helmets or something from it. So, um, that is pretty cool. Uh, like, like you saw in my previous video, pulling monsters from this, um, is something that you might want to do if you don't have a lot of monsters. So, keeping that in mind, um, having the specific type of gear is very important. Right now, uh, if I had to replace anything, it would be this staff right here, which, um, has heart of the ether XL, which is, like, almost useless, because I don't use any ether. And this, uh, it's actually pretty useful if you're carrying a cure on a mage, um, which a lot of times uh, mages will do if there's not like a, a dedicated healer or even if there is a dedicated healer sometimes mages will pick up a heal instead of a heart of uh, health or what is it heaven's breath so that um, they can actually heal themselves or do spot healing um, and the, the healer will pick up maybe like a, a um, another area heal or a barrier or something instead of an, an extra heal so that's uh, actually pretty useful so in terms of other gears uh, and staff, um, what you would want to actually go for ideally is something like um, one Heart of the Meteor XL, one to two Heart of the Meteor XLs, which is this, because your meter is like one of the most important uh, of your skills, um, and then two um, photons like this, uh, photon XLs. And then, just for me, you would go like one to two of these right here, which is the Magic Testament XL. If you can get your hands on um, uh, this staff that you get from the League, uh, this this is a really good staff, the Terra, because the skill is Heart of the Mage, so it, it boosts pretty much everything. Heart of the Easter, Heart of Photon, and Heart of Trickery, and Heart of the Meteor. So it's like everything is going to get boosted by this it's like the best staff in the game if you can get it um which i only have like 10 medals right now because when this actually came out i was in a in a low level i had i mean i just got the game this game recently like a month or and a half ago or something so i was in a i was like a low level in a low guild so i wasn't able to get it but if you could get this this is the best staff uh, and these are the best items you can get so if you can get it, your hands on that definitely do that otherwise i would say like bottom line, if I had the choice to do it, it would be one Heart of the Meteor, two Photons, and then two Magic Testaments. Um, and then you can replace, say, your one of your Magic Testaments with another, with say that other staff, that Heart of the um, Mage staff, uh, or replace one of your Photons with the Heart of the Mage staff. You know, you can switch it around. But again, um, one Meteor, uh, two Photons, and two um, of these right here the uh, magic testaments um, and you can fool around with that but um, the reason I would say doing that is because sometimes when you're using like the mind hack and stuff um, 
it, it's just like 15 of your mana or, or your AP cost and it, it's not really gonna do as much damage as say your photons will if you just keep on uh, using it and sometimes you'll run out of the cost so I mean it really depends on what you are doing in your guild like if you're doing AoE a lot of AoE then use your AoE skills and if you pull say if you pull three trickery stabs or something then obviously you want to go that so it's really dependent on like I said before the gear that you're pulling um, is what you want to put in obviously but if you have like a bunch of money that you spend in or you have a bunch of gear that you have then like I said go with um, my recommend recommended uh, stabs there all right so as for a helmet um, as you can see in in this I kind of messed up on my gear allotment I thought that I didn't know about in the beginning I didn't know about the actual cost allotment that you can put into that you get um, like re like I guess retroactively but not really kind of like um, passively I guess it would be so you passively get the plus one every five levels and every ten levels you get plus two so I didn't really know that I thought I was just gonna put like a little bit of my helm and be like okay with it but I actually ended up with like ten extra costs in my helmet or something uh, or eight so I'm gonna end up uh, with like nine extra costs in my helmet which I could have put into my monster uh, and my weapon uh, my weapons are okay right now, but my monster is going to be lacking a little bit. I think I can only put two URs in there, even if I had all my skills. Uh, and I still need to put, I believe, uh, one into my um, weapon, just because I'm saving up for that one cost. And then I also need to put a little bit more into my armor. I think I need to put, like, four. So right now, I have four, and I'm getting another four plus one so that's nine so I think I'll be okay in terms of putting one UR monster here one um, armor there and then put one into my weapon but if I had the choice I would take a little bit out of my helmet and put it back into my monster um, as far as the gear cost goes that's pretty much where you want to be uh, like around 140 weapon around 140 on your uh, monster I like to put a little bit more into armor rather than having uh, like 150 monster 150 um, weapon because to me it's a little bit unrealistic to have a 30 uh, weapon uh, on all slots just because who has 30 weapon on all slots but you know that's just me um, if you decide you wanted to go like with the with the Japanese meta which is like the 150 50 50 150 you could but I would suggest going a little bit more into armor as you can see my defense is pretty high as well as my magic attack is pretty high as well as 42k and my defense is 26k and my MD defense is 23k and it's only going to get a little bit higher as well because um, if you I don't know if you saw my last video but um, if you didn't go check it out it's uh, one where I pull um, this guy right here and he's actually better than what I have on right now, but um, I, I, I do have the cost to put it in, but I'm debating wh whether I want to put the armor in or the UR monster. Probably going with the UR monster, but also I wanted to make a video about how um, much actual gear po gear score you get the for putting in a from an SSR monster to a UR monster. And as you can see, this SR, SSR monster is plus 11 as well as the... Uh, the uh, Indra is also plus 11 so they'll both be at plus 11 uh, hopefully if I don't put a exp monster in one of them and they'll be both 11 uh, plus 11 maxed out one is SSR one is um, UR so it'll kind of give you an idea of how much gear score you'll jump putting an SSR to yours so this is kind of just for you guys uh, and I appreciate you guys I want to show you guys how uh, I appreciate you so I'm putting out content and I'm making myself a little bit more game because I want to make you guys a little bit more informed so that's what uh, I'll do for you guys and uh, I hope you appreciate it and I hope you guys you know uh, give me that thumbs up if you guys if you guys like it so as in terms of helmets and armors I know I got a little bit on, off on a tangent there, but uh, in terms of helmets, um, for mages, a lot of the time you're getting targeted by like lancers, like and lancers have incredibly high burst DPS, 
and by burst DPS it's just really quick damage that comes out um, as they save their AP cost so they'll save up to like maybe 50 to 70 um, even like at 40 they're just gonna be hitting you with that dragon lance or whatever it is like dragon rush and like then they're just gonna pierce you or they'll pierce you and then dragon rush you and then pierce you again or something and it'll just be like almost impossible to get through it um, unless your physical um, damage down procs so I have not one not two not three not four but five physical damage down so that's this, this is the reason why I can actually survive through like two Lancer bursts like my proc will just be like physical damage down physical damage down physical damage down they'll be like what the fuck and they'll and I'll just be up like getting healed up 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 all the way by the healer so this is one thing that it combats against that the only thing that really kills me is if like a mage double procs um, a meteor XL and that's like almost like you just can't survive through that if uh, if a mage procs a double meteor XL and a lancer procs on you and your you know XLs don't proc then it's gonna be a problem but um, I'm saying like it's pretty it's pretty impro improbable that it happens but it does happen sometimes so you know sometimes you get unlucky with the RNG but having all of these physical damage downs does help a lot and I have like one magic reflection over here um, and I'm also thinking like five might be too much so I ha also have another magic reflection I believe I have a magic reflection um, yeah here so or it's a physical reflection okay so I'm gonna definitely put that one in uh, but it is magic uh, resistance on this so and it is a 26 so it is going to boost my gear score a little bit but I have to toy with it a little bit just to make sure I need that much magic defense uh, because I do die to those uh, meter XLs. So um, ideally what you would want in your helmet and armor are reflection skills. So if you can get uh, reflection on all your armors, um, physical damage reflection or magical damage reflection, those are the best to have because not only do you mitigate their um, physical or magic damage you also reflect it back onto the user like as you can see chance to greatly reduce magic damage taken and reflect re uh, reduce damage back at your attacker so the magic and physical damage reflection are the best skills to have on that um, so just keep an eye out for that and um, obviously you want to use any armors that go to uh, UR like that's without kind of being said this is kind of like one of those like higher tier um, tutorials where you should already know kind of you don't really want to upgrade any armor or any kind of weapon or monster that doesn't go to UR unless that's your best thing that you have so always upgrade the best thing you have and again I've done this before but I'm just gonna show it to people um, this circle here is indicating what the item is currently at the reforge circle right here so um, it's currently at SSR, correct? And it has one dot here that's that's open, meaning that it can be upgraded once. So you don't have to like go back and like look in your encyclopedia and be like, oh, you know, I'm like looking in my encyclopedia if this thing goes to UR or not. No, that is like the super noob way to do it, and that's what I used to do. So um, you always want to like kind of look into your gear and say like, okay. This is really good for me to upgrade right now, but it only goes to, you know, SR. So, you know, this meat might, might be really good for you right now, but this other thing that goes to like UR, it, it could be like lower stats at, th at the time, but you always want to invest your time and effort and your reforged materials and augments into that so that you can get um, a better end game item. So, um,. Uh, that's probably pretty much it for um, helmets and armors. Uh, as for your your monsters, this is the one that you really want to pay attention to because it has a lot to do with what your guild is trying to do in guild battles. Um, if you don't care about guild battles at all and you're just trying to min max stats for um, for like PVE, it's a lot like a lot of it is like stat boosting. Um, so like what you kind of want to do for a mage um if you're if you're trying to min max a mage 
is to go for me this is just for me i don't know if you know it's the best thing out there or if it's like uh something that you don't you don't want to do but this is what i would do go to nyx i probably have two valkyries uh the the holy valkyries and then i'd have a defensive valkyrie which is the the water valkyrie just for the um stat takes off all all the status and it's another um type of unison so it's like a it's a uh blue so it'll it'll actually take off all the stats be a blue so that your blue unisons can um match up with your friends and it, it has the stat boost so stat boost all around um for like say you are nyx he's a 30 cost um just keep in mind that anything that's like higher cost is going to be a higher stat range so you're depending on how much actual cost you have on your um your unit here is dependent on how high the stats are going to boost up so at the time say if you have like a you know a 23 ssr and you're like whoa my like 23 ssr has like more uh stats than my ur and you're like oh well why don't i just get two of these like no don't do that because your ur is going to boost all the way up to like a huge amount of difference like a thousand right here um and obviously my my nyx here on on this side is higher than this nyx is because it has plus 61 on it and the other one is plus um seven or something yeah so so that's why that's uh that's different but um again the two nyxes two holy valkyries and one defensive valkyrie i kind of stress a little bit on the defensive side because if you can't do any damage like why do you why are you even there like if you have like 10 you know 15k to 19k defense anything lower than 20k defense is kind of laughable in uh like high level pvp like if you if somebody sees you at 19k they can like kill that motherfucker like right now everybody target him because he's like low magic defense or defense doesn't matter if you have like 40k defense if your magic defense is like less than 20k they're just gonna t set two mage uh on you and you're dead so that is one thing you gotta watch out for is like balancing your defense and magic defense so that you're not targeted by like everyone uh, and if you are targeted by everyone you have those reflection skills or um, mitigation skills to kind of combat combat that um, something else that you might uh, go for like a PvE build instead of that would be actually having the two necks um one of the or one nyx two of the valkyries uh the holy valkyries one of the water valkyries and then um you can actually go this guy right here this um chuchu um dragon or whatever dragoon chuchulian so that's one thing that you can do is um make make it so that you actually have a haste that actually does buffs as well so you can buff yourself up because like what he does is pre is the same thing as the other choo choo does um but he's a he's a um a normal monster so that means that he's going to be able to do the neutral buff which is haste as well as buff your characters um something that i would recommend is like say three choo choos the normal choo choos and then one of the um what's this called the uh, the dragon what is it not dragon the wind the wind goddess or something uh the one that gives you crit i think it's called like shinatobi or something um so th it's this girl but the wind version um because she goes to ur and she does like that crit on it you can do the fire one as well i guess but um like one of those wind guys and then you can have another uh choo choo if you want because just because it's going to give you the dot heal like but the green choo choo so or, you could do you know both so that'll have um a support and a uh a, a regular like three and two so it'll have a support and a main and it'll still do the haste or you can do four of the choo choos and then one of the crit or you could do crit two crits and then three choo choos it'll be pretty awesome to have that much buffs for that um duration and you'll have you know um all, all that good good crit so those are two things that you can do 
um, two different ways you can build it. I think personally that like the PVE part is a little bit not for me, but you know the guild versus guild is kind of more my style. So again, for guild versus guild, two Nyx, two Valk uh, of the Holy, and one of the the um, water. And you want to obviously boost them all the way up to, to max and max them out. Um, as far as what to like, kind of like max out first, I did defensive uh, things right here because I know I'm going to have armor on all my classes. I'm not necessarily going to uh, have a Nyx on every single character. However, you know, I might. You never know. I, I also have like Alice's and stuff, and it. Oh yeah, one thing I want to uh, stress to you guys is like, don't worry too too much about like your gear score. Um, you should really uh, worry about your effective stats here, because I see a bunch of people like incredibly high gear score, like oh my god, I have like 105k gear score, but it's like you have all stats that fucking suck for your class. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's like a warrior with like, uh, you know, 20k magic attack or something. It's like what? And it's like. You know, he just he just quipped hella nixes and he was like, oh, I'm fucking awesome. Like, I'm like, just really good, like, 104k gear score. But it's like, why does it matter what your gear score says if your, like, stats suck? Because I could put, honestly, I could put um, two URs in right now. Uh, or three URs in right now, but there's, like, two greens. And one of them is actually the, the one that I'm going to put in later for the video, but you know the other two are like greens so it's like the serpent dude that does like magic attack and regular attack and the alice which is like a 30 as well but it's like magic attack and regular attack and i don't need any regular attack i just need magic attack defense and magic defense so that's why my attack right here as you can see it's like 7k which is like perfect you don't need any attack like what do you need attack for on a mage right so something i kind of stress that on is don't make your character's gear score go up but your effectiveness goes down so anything like oh your gear score is just for show pretty much and you're weaker you're actually weaker than somebody that his gear score is lower but and his stats are more effective so that's one thing you kind of want to know about um last point for people that kind of got lost in why i picked nyx and why why i'm picking like um holy and stuff is because as you can see the dark right here is going magic and uh magic defense and the holy is going magic attack and regular defense and like i said earlier those stats are the ones that i'm going for uh as you can see i have a high stats there and that's why all my characters are dark and um light i haven't gotten a, a blue that i really like yet i do have the wolf but he's like a debuffer that debuffs them and doesn't buff myself this guy's actually really good because he buffs you with magic attack and defense so with his, his skill so that is pretty much what you want to do um one of my last notes here um is that you always want to get your character skill up to level five first like don't use your skill lumens on just leveling your random stuff save your skill lumens for new monsters that you want to level your skill up or new armors and stuff that you want to get to like level five because level five is a lot different than level four uh, as you can see all every single piece of my armors are level five already every single piece of my gear is level five that i'm going to use uh, so you save your skill lumens for that or lemons whatever you want to call them so that's pretty much it i think I uh, covered most of it. If I missed anything, definitely tell me in the comments below. Uh, try to help out all the people that um, have questions. Um, if you have any questions, tell, tell me in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can with more information. Um, so, if that helped you guys out uh, at all, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, if that didn't help you, you can thumbs down it or tell me what will help you and I'll try to get that to you as soon as I can um, if you could subscribe that would really be of a help to me um, and like the video that also helps uh, and if you want um, I can make a video of your choosing just put it down in the comments below and I'll try to make that happen for you 
all right so um i think that's it for this one guys as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace